we got the bond arms it's a chambered in 45 coat or 410 shot shell this is the rough and rowdy model it's uh i think it's got a three inch barrel there's only about this much rifling in the barrel the rest it's all chamber it's, it shoots a two and a half inch 410 shell and today we're gonna be trying some different ammo out of it we got some of these hornady ftx 185 grain um, they're traveling at 920 feet a second i'm sure it's probably out of a four or six inch barrel here's what the round looks like i'm gonna put two of these on target and then We'll go to a different ammo. We'll see which one groups the best. And then at the end, we got some uh, number four shot shells that uh, are the 45 coat case with a little plastic end with a number. It's like the pest control stuff. And uh, we'll group two rounds of them and see how many BBs we get on a paper plate at 10 yards. All of our tests will be at 10 yards. So it looks like down the barrel. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's uh, very little rifling. From this end, you can see there's just a little bit of rifling. Just a little bit. We're going to try it out. These are the 185 grain Hornady FTX, the critical defense. Two rounds on target. This has got a little manual ejector right here that just kind of bumps the case out so you can pull them out. All right, those uh, those two shots was really high. I was aiming dead center. I'm gonna aim at the just below the paper plate and see where they hit. We're using the same ammo again. These are the 185 grain FTX. Up here was our, was one of our first shots, and then the other one was off the board. We had, this is our second two shots. We have one here and one here. I was aiming right in here, so I was aiming out. So that was the Hornady Critical Defense 185 grain FTX. This is what we got next. This is uh, Jameson. Or Jameson. This is uh, 200 grain semi wad cutters. It says they're going uh, at the muzzle 855. So, like I said earlier, this is probably have a four or six inch barrel. This is a round 200 grain semi wad cutter. We're going to put two rounds of this on target and see what they look like. What kind of group we get. Two rounds. I was aiming dead center, and we had one hit here and one right here. So it's about a six inch group on that. The other one, the 185s, was uh, probably about a four inch group. These here didn't have as much pep in them as the uh, 185s. Next ammo up is some of this Federal American Eagle. It's 225 grain jacketed soft point. Here's what the ammo looks like. Big old flat nose uh, slug there. 860 feet a second at the muzzle. All 
right, here's our two two hits with our uh, 225 grain jacketed soft point by Federal. This is a Federal American Eagle. Up next is these Winchester Super X. These are 255 grain lead round nose. We're going to try these out, see how they do. These were uh, 255 grain round nose. We had one hit here and one hit way up here. I was aiming dead center. That's a 10 inch group. Last but not least, we got these 45 coat shot shells. They uh, are made by CCI. They are one third ounce number nines earlier i said those number fours they're number nines so it's number nine shot this is what they what they look like see all those little bbs in there i'm only gonna shoot one of these on target i'm gonna see that pattern at 10 yards out of uh those three inch barrel. I ain't a hundred percent sure which barrel fires first from this. I don't know if it's the top or the bottom one. Alright, here we go. The bottom one fires first. We know that now. I just got hit in the legs with pellets. That was nice. At 10 yards, that ain't too terrible. Um, I did get peppered with pellets. Uh, I guess they bounced off of this plywood. They didn't have very much energy though. They, they're all the way down here. There's pellets. Right from here all the way up to here. So I'd say it's so almost two foot. Spray a nice few over this way too. Thank y'all for watching today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed the Bond Arms video. If y'all have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Y'all like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.